Welcome to the recap of today's CodeBuddies.org live code hangout. Today, we've been working on a feature for the Western Friend website, allowing magazine articles to be featured on their relevant issue, on the related issue. And what that'll uh, allow is two things. One, the article will be displayed more prominently on the list of issue articles. So here's an issue called On Debt, and here are the featured articles. And the other one is a little bit more subtle, but it's part of the business model, is the subscription model of the website. Uh, featured articles should be accessible to the general public, so without an account or subscription active. And the rest of the articles are for subscribers only until the article is, I believe, six months old. After six months, all of the articles become really available. So let's take a quick look at the code. It changes, wasn't a whole lot that was needed. I'll read it top to bottom. This is a migration generated uh, by Django, so we won't really read through that, uh, these migration files so, so much. But essentially from any um, magazine issue, I'm gonna need a, a list of featured articles. And in order to grab those, we actually needed to grab the magazine articles that were a child of the current issue. And we're using a Wagtails page model and page model is hierarchical. So for our content, the magazine issue contains one or more magazine articles. So these magazine articles are children of the issue. And we added a field today uh, that says this magazine article is featured. And this specific method, it looks like it grabs the, um, the related articles in as efficient as a way of possible to the database. I'm not sure how it works internally, but just the uh, wagtail page query set reference mentioned use specific and also the stack overflow question might have also mentioned the same thing. We've removed an old inline panel. So previously the, I guess the migrations are salient here. The, um, we added a field and deleted a model so we added a magazine article is field is featured field it's a boolean field and we deleted an intermediary model called magazine issue featured article that was allowing us to do an orderable list of featured articles when creating a magazine issue so we've kind of inverted the control here now the magazine articles define themselves as featured and the magazine issue just displays them previously the Featured articles were defined from the magazine issue page. You would create the articles, then go back to the magazine issue and select it as a featured article. That um, is a reasonable uh, approach. There's different uh, trade-offs, but one of them uh, it introduced, one of the uh, uh, trade-offs was that it introduced an extra step in the publication process. And I think it was gonna make it more difficult for us to fetch or to have conditional logic relating to the display of the article. We'll show you a little bit about that in a moment. So now we have an actual field on the article, the Boolean field, whether or not it should be featured prominently in the related issue and allowed ac uh, the reader access without a subscription. We told Wagtail to render the field and we added a condition here. Inside of Wagtail, get context, there's a property called user can view full article. And this is gonna determine whether or not this Article should show a teaser in a, in a please subscribe message or the whole thing without the please subscribe message. Previously, we uh, you know, were checking if the user is a subscriber or if they're a super user uh, or if the article is public access. And now we've added our is featured article. Public access, just briefly, is those articles that are older than six months, they were published more than six months ago, or the, that the issue was published more than six months ago, those become public access. So it's slightly different. Featured articles can be published today, um, but then marked as featured. So they would allow the user to read the full article only if they're featured. Uh, so here, just removing this magazine issue feature article. And the last change, uh, essentially, was to the template. We um, didn't have to change the magazine issue template too much, aside from um, since we're not using an intermediary table, the featured article is actually the article itself. Previously, it was a magazine issue featured article object that had an article property that was a 
foreign key to the related article. We just removed those and we have direct access now to render that featured article page URL and the featured article title property directly. So that's it. Not very many um, changes. Small pull request. You can check out the pull request in our full code on GitHub. GitHub.com slash Western Friend. Mark, this is ready for review. Thanks to Murtatha for joining the live coding session. It's always nice to have company while we're doing our work and have conversations. Murtatha, it sounds like you're doing some interesting projects. So I hope to uh, be able to collaborate with you on GitHub. This has been a CodeBuddies.org live code hangout. Stop by CodeBuddies.org to get involved with this and similar projects or host your own hangouts and collaborate with other like-minded folks. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.